Hello friends. Uh, today we are making a string art with the acrylics. For that, I have taken an uh, a sheet, a canvas sheet that is approximately eight inches, eight by eight inches square, and uh, we need to make a base with acrylic. Uh, we can take any color. Uh, I am taking this uh, Winsor and Newton. This is uh, pale yellow. So I'll be doing a coat. Uh, with this paint on the acrylic sheet we need to cover the whole sheet so for this uh, I'm taking a flat brush it's uh, number 8 so we need to cover the whole sheet and uh, make sure that uh, the strokes are in one direction only because uh, we are not creating any textured effect uh, in the base coat so it has to be simple plain because we'll be creating the design with the string uh, on top of this coat so if it this also has a texture the string uh, painting will not look good and will not be very effective when we uh, do the string the color so and uh, while doing this uh, don't forget to wear gloves and don't forget to wear your apron because uh, this is going to be a little messy uh, when we color the string so and we need to be quick uh, while doing this art because uh, we'll be doing a painting with the string when the base is still wet so we need to be quick so now we are done with the base coat I've used a pale yellow for this uh, you can use any color uh, you can use even dark colors and uh, then you can uh, uh, do the string painting with the lighter color here I am using a light base so for the uh, string painting um, I have taken uh, these uh, strings these are normal cotton strings um, I have taken five here five strings and uh, now we'll make the color. We, we need to dilute the acrylic paint a bit. So I'm taking a pink um, acrylic of a Fevicryl brand. So I've taken the color and I need to dilute it with a little water. I have taken half the quantity of water um, as compared to paint and now we are going to mix it nicely, mix it nicely it has to be the consistency of uh, say honey need not be very thin need not be very thick so now uh, we'll take these uh, strands and uh, keeping uh, a piece of the edge in your hand you need to dip it dip it in the color Need to dip it in the color take it out 
it has to be immersed in the color completely take it out and place it in a zigzag manner over the like this So we'll take the other string now and repeat the procedure and uh, we need to see that uh, we keep a proper distance uh, between the threads when we place them. Okay, now we are taking the second thread. I'll take it a little lower than the first one. Okay. and like this since my uh, canvas sheet is very small so I think uh, three uh, threads will be sufficient but let's see if you want to add more, we can add more in the end, in the gaps. Right? Now, it's like this. Now, we need to pull the threads one by one perpendicular to your sheet. So, we'll pull the first one. Straight. We pull the second one straight and we pull the third one Now you see how beautiful the pattern has come and it's all natural. Let it be, let it remain the way it is. You can accentuate the uh, center part of, um, say, um, you can uh, assume that these are flowers on a stalk and you can accentuate the center part with some golden color or some uh, uh, brown or black later on when this gets dry so see how beautiful this uh, string art looks mm -hmm.